Hi, my name is Margaret Martin and my daughter Kennedy Martin was diagnosed with T-cell lymphoblastic lymphoma on June 2nd, 2020. I don't know that anybody has ever really asked me what my thoughts were when she was diagnosed. And I've kind of replayed it over in my head. And I, I think the only word is shock. I think that's the only word that can really be applied. Other than is she gonna live? They tell you your 12 year old has a tumor in her chest that is keeping her from breathing to the point where she almost wasn't breathing before we took her to the hospital and when you think tumor you think death and so shock is is what we thought we were just there wasn't anything else to to really think and i don't think at that point i was questioning why or anything i think it was just pure shock and then i feel like i shifted into a mission of okay let's get her taken care of let's figure out what we've got to do and the first few days were a true blur and when i think about kind of how i have been as a caregiver through all of this i have often very much felt like the first year of treatment there was nothing about me that i was taking care of only through friends and family was i taken care of in certain ways, but as far as my mental health goes, I pushed that to the side. That didn't matter. It didn't matter what I was feeling. It mattered what she was going through. It mattered that she almost died. It mattered that we needed to get this tumor gone and we needed to get this cancer gone. And now that we are three months out of treatment, I it's crazy that she was in treatment for 900 days. Now we're three months out of treatment. And I feel like I'm just now starting to really process everything that happened because you don't, you don't think about it. You just survive. That's all you can do. And so I really think that part of the mental health struggle is after the after portion when we're at the point now where she has survived and now how do we process how do we deal how do we come to terms with the fact that that all happened like that happened i kind of think to myself some days we think like, we lift that i feel like there is a big gap in providing some mental health care, not only for the patients, but for the caregivers. You know, I remember um, Kennedy's doctor even saying that they didn't really have anybody in the hospital that was like a children's type counselor that could talk to her and we would need to get outside sources. And to me, that that's a, that's a huge problem when you are dealing with the kids who are going through something that is so life changing and so life altering. And we don't have that available. And everybody in the hospital is amazing. And you know, we have friends and all those things, but that is something that is missing. And not only for the patient, but for the caregiver, it's missing. I would have loved to not have to seek out somebody let somebody come to me and say, I'm here. Here's my number. Here's my email. If you need to talk, whatever you need to do. And somebody that's not necessarily a friend. That's not, you know, friends look at it different. But I feel like that's a huge area of need in the cancer community. At least from what I have seen from the children's side. I don't know how it is on the adult side, but from the children's side, we need to be looking out for the mental health of our patients and our caregivers. And maybe that's just something that we can get started.